Hey guys, what's up? If you remember a while back when I made a video on the Mac OS X line developer preview, which got leaked on the Pirate Bay, um, well, a couple of people actually asked for my initial thoughts online so far in the developer preview, and I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that I don't like it at all. I actually downgraded my iMac because it was just really buggy. I mean, I knew it was developed preview and everything, but it just shouldn't have been as buggy as it was. I mean, Safari had crashed. We haven't really done anything to Safari apart from added the iOS type scroll into it, so the, ta so the scroll bar disappears, as it does on iOS. And that's pretty much all they did to Safari, and I couldn't really do anything I needed to do on it in Safari, in anything really. Uh, Java didn't work well on it. I couldn't go into my library to mod Minecraft and stuff like that. It just didn't work for what I needed to do. And as you can see, if I go into my name and then go to library, well, the library folder wouldn't actually be there online. There was a way to get it there, but it didn't actually work well. So, uh, my initial thoughts online then. Uh, the launch pad is a cool idea and concept, which they've uh, got from the iPad. But I personally don't like it. I prefer to have my applica applications folder there, which you could still have online, but you couldn't remove the launch pad from your dock, which I didn't like. So hopefully they'll add that in the full version, in case you just want to still use your app folder and get rid of the launch pad icon. The launch pad icon is sort of ugly as well. But there again, you could probably change that with one of my, with an app that I showed in one of my Mac customization videos. And second was uh, a mission control. Yeah, it's mission control, which was kind of like expose, which I uh, would be happening now if I had any apps open. So I'll just open like Chrome, and yeah. So mission control would be something like expose. But I found that to be really laggy, and it shouldn't be really laggy on my computer, because as most of you know, I've got an iMac 27 inch with 4 gigs of RAM and an Intel Core i5. So, mission control shouldn't have been laggy. I mean, lag is actually real hard to fix when it comes to developing. Uh, well, when it comes to developing apps, so I c I can't imagine how hard it would be for Apple to fix this uh, in Mac, but. Hopefully they do get around to that. And for any of you which are thinking about finding the developer preview for download, I would say I'd wait till the full version. And for full version to know better, I'm actually going to downgrade again. Because Mac OS X line, I mean, there's a core cool concept of the idea, getting things from the iPad and bring it back to the Mac, as we've seen in the event. But personally, I just don't like it. And that's why I downgraded. Nothing works, and nothing which I need to do on it I can do because it's just so bad. But that's my personal opinion. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I've just gone ahead and said what I need to say about Lion and how poor it is at the moment. As I said, hopefully they'll make it better in the full version, but I can't guarantee anything. So if you're thinking about finding the developer preview, which got leaked on for Pirate Bay then you can go ahead and do that but it's just not worth it um, because you have to reformat your Mac to pretty much go back to the original Snow Leopard whereas if you're installing Lion you can just upgrade for those who do want to install it but if you're not actually installing Lion you've got to downgrade which means you've got to format your Mac like I did so I lost all my stuff and then I had to reinstall everything which took a while and I didn't really like it but yeah that's pretty much it. That's all I need to say about wine and how poor it is. So if you liked this video, don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. I also started a Mac customization series, which you can find at geeklash.info. Or you can just go ahead and click the more videos tab above this video which you're watching now. Or you can just go ahead and go to my channel. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check out my website, geeklash.info. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at LiamG Simmons and at GL Online. And don't forget to like the Facebook fan page at Geek Clash Media. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.